Hi guys and welcome to The Bachelor Video where today we are talking about how to make the easiest ever ice cream, okay? If you want to make your own ice cream, this is a delicious way to do it and you don't need an ice cream maker and it literally takes five minutes, okay? So it is really quick, it's really naughty, so you only need a little bit but it's really quick and it's a nice thing to do with the kids if you've got them off on school holidays, they can make their own ice cream. So let's get going. What you want to do is you want to get um, some double cream at 600 mils. You want a tub of um, condensed milk and you want some um, vanilla extract and that is all you need, three ingredients. Now you can add lots of other flavours to it and in fact this one I've added our own um, rhubarb through it so I quite often will put them put a stewed fruit, fruit through it. You could put ginger, you could put anything you want but um, it's a great thing to do and I'm going to give you some top tips at the end of um, what you can do to portion control out for your children in the summer holidays or in any sort of school holidays. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put 600 mils of double cream in your bowl. It's quite good because you use a whole carton. Like I say, you're going to portion control it. So this is going to last for quite some time. This is the stickiest stuff, so I already opened it. And you're just going to pour it in. You probably want one of these sort of like silicon spoons. Um, which is great just for getting everything out of the tin at the end because quite a lot of this stuff stays in the tin. Okay, once you've done that, you want to take one teaspoon full of vanilla extract. Now, I'm using a vanilla extract that's got little seeds and everything in it, which is the one that we like. It sort of makes it like a proper um, vanilla. You know, you get lots of tiny little black seeds throughout it, which is lovely. And then all you're going to do is you're going to I'd give it a mix with your spoon and then you're just going to use your electric whisk to mix this and you want to mix, mix it until it is really thick, okay? So it's going to be like unbelievably thick cream. You want to catch it just before it sort of is on the turn. So you're going to be here a while. Um, I've made it before and it takes me about a good five minutes with the whisk. So get ready for a bit of an arm workout. Here we go. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see that, but that is thick now, like really thick whipped cream, okay? And that's what you want. This took about five minutes to whisk, and that was with an electric whisk, which is actually now quite hot. I think it's, it's about 20 years old, it's definitely nearly had its day, but I also got my daughter to come down and whisk it so that I could multitask and clean the kitchen instead, so she was doing this. So that is all that you want to do, and then you can basically just put it in a, dish, um, just plonk it into your dish and put it in your freezer, oh, over the edge of the disc, I'll have to sort that in a minute, Let's see if we can just grab it, okay, you just want to fill it up on your dish like that, um, you can either put cling film over it or you can just put the lid on and put it straight in your freezer and you have just made your own ice cream that quick. It's amazing. Now, what I want to show you in terms of portion controlling, so if you've got children and it's summer holidays or it's any type of holidays and you want to be able to say, I like to be able to say when I'm working from home, go and get an ice cream or you can have some ice cream without having to come and then look at how much ice cream everybody's taking. So if you want to, you can freeze it in ice cream scoops. This is what I often do. I put a tray, um, some um, greaseproof paper on a tray I ice cream scoop it on, I let it freeze for a couple of hours, it should freeze quite quickly, and I then put them into a Ziploc bag. That way when my children ask for an ice cream and I'm busy editing videos or working in the office, then I can say you can go and um, help yourself to two scoops. And they take out two scoops and put it in a bowl and they wait for it to defrost. It's much easier than them taking out a big thing, leaving it to defrost on the side, and I end up coming to check it frosty does it not have they taken too much whatever this is homemade ice cream so easy flavor it however you want you could put lots of um purees and um, frozen fruits anything through it at all really simple let me know how you get on and please tell your friends and follow me thanks bye